today in the Daily Dose. Joseph McCarthy During the early nervous days of the Cold War, Republican Senator Joseph McCarthy fueled the anti-communist Red Scare movement by alleging that numerous communist and Soviet sympathizers had infiltrated the federal government, universities, and the arts at large. After winning a U.S. Senate seat from his home state of Wisconsin, McCarthy's first three years in the Senate were undistinguished until he rose to national fame in 1950 when he asserted in his now infamous Enemies Within speech that he had a list of members of the Communist Party and members of a communist spy ring employed by the State Department. He would later broaden his finger pointing to include the administration of President Harry S. Truman, the Voice of America, political opponents, suspected homosexuals, and many A-list names in literature and Hollywood, including Langston Hughes and Dorothy Parker, Charlie Chaplin, Orson Welles, Leonard Bernstein, Pete Seeger, Burl Ives, and Lena Horne. Known as McCarthyism, Joseph McCarthy used his seat on the Senate Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations where some of McCarthy's most publicized Red Scare accusations took place. His downfall would come in the autumn of 1953 during the 36-day Army McCarthy hearings when McCarthy's committee began its ill-fated inquiry into the Army Signal Corps Laboratory at Fort Monmouth. Broadcasted via the Big Three news networks, public opinion began to see McCarthy as bullying, reckless, and dishonest, while many Republican lawmakers began to see McCarthy as a liability to the party. On the 30th day of the Army McCarthy hearing, after McCarthy challenged the Army's chief legal counsel, Joseph Nye Welch to investigate a Boston lawyer named Fred Fisher, Welch had finally had enough of McCarthy's ruthless badgering and unfounded finger-pointing. Let us not assassinate this lad further, Senator. Look, look, look. You've done enough. Have you no sense of decency, sir? At long last, have you left no sense of decency? On December 2, 1954, the Senate voted to censure and later condemn McCarthy in a 67 to 22 landslide vote. Among the charges against McCarthy was that he had used his committee authority as a lynching party, making the committee into an unwitting handmaiden and an involuntary agent and attorneys in fact of the Communist Party. Three years later, Joseph McCarthy would die from alcoholism at just 48 years of age. And there you have it, Joseph McCarthy, today in the Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to the Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.